going on guys here at the shop today is the 10th of april it is wednesday it's about to be 2 p.m we've been open for a fat minute already we just got a crazy trade in it's uh a lot of ps1 and then some some handheld stuff we're gonna go through real quick we got soul blade for the ps1 odd world let's say star Wars dark forces castlevania this one i think is uh reprinted artwork or re uh kind of like a repro box but it has the manual and disc. We are Crusaders of Might and Magic. Tetris Plus. Tony Hawk's Pro Skater. Tony Hawk's Pro Skater 2. Dragon Ball Final Bout. Project Horned Owl. Project Overkill. Dragon Ball Z Ultimate Battle 22. Dino Crisis. This one is only manual and disc. The box is uh, reprinted. Quake 2 for the PS1. Resident Evil Director's Cut, Green Label. We got Street Fighter Alpha 3, Green Label. Tomb Raider, Green Label. And then we got Gotten Legends for the PS1. Really good titles right there. A nice little PS1 stack. It's been really hard for us to get in uh, PS1 games, especially complete in box. We have a lot of disc only, but still nothing too crazy. So for us to get this trade in, it's really good. Oh, and then we got Grand Theft Auto for the PS1 as well, Green Label. Then we got some Wii games. We got Silent Hill Shattered Memories. This one is complete in box. Dead Space Extraction, Resident Evil Dark Side Chronicles, Harvey Birdman. What's this? I don't even know how to pronounce that one. Onet Chan. I don't know. Can we see it? Bikini Zombie Slayers for the Wii, complete in box. I don't know. If it's like. Let me see if I can... Yeah. Escape from Bug Island for the Wii. Onen Chambara or something? Onen Chambara. Yeah, something like that. Onen Chambara, I guess you could pronounce it. I don't know. It's still a good game. I think it's like a $30 game. And then we got this uh, Legacy of Kane Collector's Edition. has all three games. And it's complete in box. And it's cool because they're uh, they have the white labeled manuals, as you can see. And they're all part of sets, as you can see in the back of the barcode. Then we got Transformers Devastation for the PS4. And we got Godzilla Domination for the Game Boy Advance. We got King Kong for the DS. We also have a Yu-Gi-Oh game for the GBA. We got Dragon Ball Advanced Adventure. This one is PAL, but this one goes for some, some good money. So this one's gonna be posted ASAP. Then we got Resident Evil Deadly Silence, cart only. What's this, Aliens and Infestation for the DS, cart only as well. Naruto Ninja Council for the GBA. We got a Dragon Ball game. It is Japanese, so I can't read it. Then we got Godzilla the series for the Game Boy. And last but not least, the Grail, the one of the craziest games we've ever had in store. Uh, I think I wanna say, obviously the Simon Hills are really good. We had, uh, we also had Godzilla for the PS4. We've had, uh, what's that game? Oh, we've also had Fire Emblem, the Collector's Edition sealed. And uh, I think this one probably tops them all just because of the rarity of it. We got Haunting Ground for the PS2. This one, unfortunately, is missing manual, but it's still in really good condition. Disc is super clean. I'm gonna see if we can find a manual somewhere, but this will be available ASAP. So if you guys are watching, check out the links in the description down below. Check out our eBay, more than likely this will be listed. We're gonna get everything priced, get a picture and post it on our Instagram. And uh, yeah, that's pretty much it for right now. If we get anything else in throughout the day, we'll turn the camera back on. Shout out to the guy who brought this in, crazy trade-in. We do take trade-ins to the mail as well. So if you guys want to, you know, sell us anything or trade it in, uh, message us through Instagram, send us pictures of everything you have. So let us know how much you're looking for and uh, we can negotiate from there. That's pretty much it for right now. Let's see how the rest of the day goes. All right, so a few things I want to talk about real quick. Uh, we already priced everything. I think there's like three or four games that need to be resurfaced, but we just cleaned the pads. So we gotta wait for them to dry. Uh, this Dragon Ball game we picked up, this one is PAL. Unfortunately, it is fake. I didn't even look into it. I just kind of checked it real quick. You know, um, the person who brought it in, we've done deals several times already and everything's always good. Uh, you know, stuff slips by, you know. This one goes for a good amount, but it's part of business. Sometimes things slip by like this and you know, gotta take a loss, that's part of business. This happens all the time, you know, when you have a, you know, a store like this, sometimes things uh, slip by, you miss things, taking some fake stuff, reprinted stuff. You know, it's just, it's just one of those things, but it's all good. All we gotta make sure you double check the games when you get them in. This one goes for like a hundred bucks, just to give you guys an idea of, you know, that kind of loss, but it's all good. Still got really good stuff right here. So we got this one in as well. This one, I could tell right off the bat when, when I checked it, 
uh, the manual was uh, fake and the box was reprinted as well but uh, the disc obviously it's official I didn't really look too much into it I just searched up disc only I don't think much of it but as we were pricing we over we looked over it again and turns out uh, the green this one is the black label disc the green label disc is a white one or silver one whatever you want to call it the black label is an all black disc so that does affect the value uh, this disc alone goes for like 70 to 80 bucks depending on condition and if it was the black label completed in box castlevania this one goes for close to 200 bucks which is insane but um still a really good pickup just wanted to specify that uh for you guys in the video so if you guys you know are interested in this you guys know this is just this only but aside from that everything else is good everything else is working i'm gonna throw this one in my box of fakes just to you know have references and stuff like that but uh, aside from that everything's already priced ready to go um I posted it on Instagram already, and then I think we're gonna start taking pictures for eBay to start listing everything and kind of go from there. So if you guys are interested in anything, I know I said it earlier, but check out the link to the description down below. Uh, we're spam posting on our eBay right now. So we're posting a bunch of clothing, a bunch of games. So if you guys are looking for anything specific or just wanna check it out, links in the description down below. Send us offers. We're always open to offers. We're very negotiable. Let us know what's up and let's see how the rest of the day goes. All right, so this is the last game that I gotta put in here. Uh, the higher dollar ones are going to be in a display case and i think we got maybe two more that are going to go over here but i still got to resurface some so they're not ready yet but check out the ps1 section it looks beautiful finally full usually we only have like about this much this is where we put all the all the games that come in jewel cases like the dreamcast uh what else uh the the turbo graphics games ps1 stuff like that that come in these kind of cases we'll put them in here but uh, we finally have PS1 games full, which is exciting. And then we're gonna add some more in the display case down here. We got, I think the only ones that are gonna be in here is probably Dino Crisis, Resident Evil. We got Dragon Ball Final Bout. And then we got this uh, collector's edition as well. And obviously this disc only. And then we got some higher dollar games like Transformers, Silent Hill. And then I think all these are gonna be out on the floor except for maybe resident evil and then probably put this one in the display case just to kind of emphasize it but really good stuff excited to fill this up finally we had some more consoles in here but they sold on ebay so i gotta go through that another thing we do have a bunch of ebay orders going out so once i start packaging them up i'll show you guys what's sold all right so i'm here at the back of the shop right now we got a nice little clothing trade in i'm gonna go through everything real quick first piece we got is this crazy jenko george piece this one, I think it's a size 30 or 38. It's uh, kind of faded, so I can't really... Oh, it's a size 38. So a nice little uh, set of dragon. Dragon hit down the quad muscle. It's got the Jenko tag back right there on the back pocket. Jenko jeans. It's in really good condition. Excited about these. Going to get these listed ASAP on eBay. Next piece we got is this vintage USA basketball shirt, just in time for the Olympics this summer, which is sick. On that champion tag, this one is a single stitch. Beautiful piece. Honestly, I'm kind of tempted to keep this one and add this one to the personal, just because I love I love the USA basketball merch, the, the old, the 90s, the Dream Team era, like all that, that merch, I love it. I love the logo and everything. Next piece we got is another champion piece. This one is tagged large. It's a beautiful Los Angeles Lakers. I think this is 80s if I'm not mistaken. It's not dated, but it's double stitched on the collar. And I think that's, if I'm not mistaken, like 70s, 80s. Uh, that's what they did back in the day, but really good condition. There is some cracking, but what can you expect? It, it's an old piece. Next, we got this youth. Unfortunately, it's a youth size. It's on the red bar anvil tag size youth XL. It's a back-to-back bulls piece this one is single stitch uh, i'm not sure what we're going to sell this one or just hold on to it for our son but still a really cool piece nonetheless back to back 91 92 it's got all the players that is sick next piece we got is this ringer droopy piece this one's pretty cool it does have some spot stains throughout the piece but we're gonna get it oxied and taken care of so this will be available as well then we got this what is this we got an ML we got an MLB piece. It's on the Delta tag, made in the USA size adult large. It is single stitch. This one's a 1996 St. Louis Cardinals 
champion's piece this one is very yellowed so it's gonna need an oxy but the stain should come off easily i'm excited about this one it is baseball season so we're trying to stock up on baseball pieces for the ebay then we got this one this was a beautiful piece this one is a vintage champion reverse weave crew neck this one's a purple one has a champion hit on the sleeve it says belton basketball this one is the quality on this one's really nice it's, i haven't really you know paid attention to reverse weave crew necks but i love the 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 heaviness and the quality on it might be a personal i'll be honest next we got this nike international windbreaker it's the back on it check out the well look at that back patch on it and then check out the tag i have not seen this tag before nike international trying to get it on the camera nike international right there this is a women's uh windbreaker it's really clean it does have some minor pink bleeding throughout the white but nothing too crazy then we got this marine cord crew neck all red this one is really nice the material the 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 material here for the lettering and and the logo is is really nice it's like a puff print kind of it's really clean really good condition it is an adult large made in the usa then we got this penguins nhl lease for crew neck this one's in really good condition just a basic crew neck then last but not least we got this nike is this golf or tennis i think this is tennis right nike i don't know but it's uh that logo right there this one is on that white nike tag size adult large it's a quarter zip really good condition this one's gonna go fast on the ebay i'm pretty sure just because it is a cool piece but that's pretty much all the clothing. There might be a few more pieces up front that I missed, but I'll check right now if there's anything else. I'll turn the camera back on and uh, let's see how the rest of the day goes.